The Pentagon is spending substantial time, effort, and money for counter-rocket, artillery, and mortar, Siren, technology to protect us warfighters on the front lines and on invasion beaches from these and other enemy airborne threats. Our efforts as efficient as they could be. The counter-rocket, artillery, mortar, Indirect Fire Protection Capability System was developed early during Operation Iraqi Freedom and during Freedom in order to protect ground forces and forward operating bases from the threat of rockets, artillery, and mortars. Rocket, artillery, and mortar is made up of a variety of systems which provide the ability to sense, warrant, respond, intercept, command and control, shape, and protect deployed forces. Rocket, artillery, and mortar components include the Forward Area Air Defense Command and Control, land-based phalanx weapon systems, lightweight counter-mortar radars, Firefinder radars, top and multifunction radio frequency systems, air and missile defense workstation, and several other components that contribute to system intercept and communications. A main component of the CRAM system is the LPWS which is modified from the US Navy MK-15 Mach 29 Block IV, baseline too close in weapon system, and mounted on a commercial 35-ton semi-trailer for land-based operations. The M61A 120mm Gatling gun is capable of acquiring its target and firing at a rate of 4,500 rounds per minute. The Forward Area Air Defense Command and Control System integrates the sensors, weapons, and warning systems for CRAM intercept. Rocket, artillery, and mortar was operationally deployed in Iraq and Afghanistan, where its sense and warn capabilities provided timely warning of more than two. 500 rocket and mortar attacks against CRAM equipped forward operating bases. Rocket, artillery, and mortar was also purchased by Australia in the United Kingdom. The CRAM system was originally designed to fill operational needs in Iraq to counteract the increasing number of casualties caused by attacks using rockets, artillery, and mortars that was deployed by the United States in Iraq to protect the Green Zone in Camp Victory in Baghdad, Joint Base Ballad near Ballad, Iraq, and was deployed by the British Army for ground protection in southern Iraq. Rocket, artillery, and mortar can be used for defense and destruction against incoming weapons or can simply provide early warning. More recently, the Army and Northrop Grumman are exploring new sensors and interceptor weapons able to destroy enemy drones using ground-based systems designed to track and knock out approaching enemy fire from forward operating bases. CRM is deployed at numerous forward operating bases throughout Iraq and Afghanistan and is now being analyzed for these upgrades and improvements.